Hey, everybody. Welcome to the WIRA Daily Market Update. So what a day today. Huh? After that uh, little news from Mnuchin this morning that beefed up the market, we ended up closing red on two markets. And, and the NASDAQ actually had a decent day today. Uh, the VIX, uh, the VIX is still your conundrum, right? It trickled down another seven cents today, uh, despite the market being red. What's happening here? Really, what's happening here? Well, we think it's it's a lot like December 24th. Uh, it's just low volume right now, trickling down. Um, you know, you get a little exciting news in the morning. Everybody kind of jumps in, gets ready. Uh, all systems go. And then everybody steps back and there's just no volume and everything trickles down till it finally comes red. So, you know, it just was an interesting day today. We went around the block on the S&P and the Dow, uh, but the NASDAQ held real strong. Let's pop over to our charts um, and see what's going down here. Uh, let's reload that. There you go. All right, trading view, you got it together. How about that S&P 500? Huh? Remember last time now? <laughs> Remember the last time what happened? Uh, we hit this top over here and boom, that was what happened after uh, that uh, May, early May top. That was a sell in May go away, right? That was five straight weeks of red. Then we hit June and we got a little bounce there. It took us right back to where we were in the beginning of May. But now we're having a little battle, right? Is it a triple top? Look at that lingering back there. So at some point here, the rubber is going to meet the road. Um, this is pretty much looking for like either a triple top or the big breakout. Um, whichever way your bets are placed, we're betting long. We think there's a breakout coming. Um, maybe it's a G20, maybe it's a rate cut, whatever. And that's the way we're positioned. So we stayed tall in our, our positions today. Um, we held on to the XLV, which is already profitable, those leaps. Uh, they're just slightly profitable. But, you know, after that big run up XLV's had uh, over the last month or so, it made sense to have a little consolidation. So, you know, that bar is not going to really bother us. All it did was bring us down to this support here. Um, like I said, it's been on a big run, so we'll stick with this. We're also in leaps. These leaps are out at 2021. So we got plenty of time on it. <laughs> now our CRM play, CRM got beat up a little bit, but again, it's still in this Fibonacci range. So we're going to stick with this play for a little longer, um, just to see how it works out. You know, CRM, salesforce.com. One thing we have going for us is, uh, Friday window dressing, right? It's the end of the year, half year. It's also the end of the quarter. Uh, second quarter. So let's see if some of these fund managers come in and pick this bad boy up because it's definitely cheap around that 150 area. Our oil play starting to really, really uh, bama -lama. Um, We're in those leaps on this one, or actually we're in the middle of June on these. Um, and we're sitting at about 20 bucks. We think there's a big run coming on oil. We'll see. Uh, we like the way the chart's giving us some action finally here. You know, we're getting good RSI. We're getting good MACD action. So we'll let that one play out. Um, the other one is a steel play, right? We got another 5% from AKS today. Uh, and X, X is a star back over $15. Uh, we're in some uh, $20 calls and we're all the way out to January on those. So we got plenty of time. These are already break even and we're looking for a big move from steel. Um, other than that, you know, we're still in, uh, you know, we're still holding those Cloudera leaps. Uh, that are all the way out to January, even after that breakdown. Well, once it had this second breakdown, the, the options devalued so fast, you know, we just work the play. And we've got an exit strategy for this, and we'll talk about it going forward um, in the next few days. Our WWE play. Uh, this bad boy starts to get its footing. It loses it, starts to get its footing. Uh, you know, we bought over here because we thought it was starting to break out of that Fibonacci level. All we've done right now, though, is pulled back to the bottom of that level. Let's see if we get a good, strong bounce. Um, generally, summer is WWE's time of year. It's its season. Um, let's see if we get some of that love. We're out uh, about two, three weeks on these contracts. And so, uh, you know, we're expecting a rally going into the next couple of days. We'll see how that plays out. You still want to be cautious. But the thing that's really, really the, the conundrum right now is that VIX, right? Uh, there's a lot of fear talk, 
there's a lot of trickled, soft trickle down in the market, but nobody's buying the VIX. Um, we had a little protection play in the VIX uh, that we cashed out yesterday um, that we did in our live in room. We cashed it out because there's just no action in the VIX right now. So we might as well take that little profit. Uh, we might look to reset that going into Friday just in case. Now, remember, traders, next week is July 4th, Independence Day. So Wednesday is a half day. Thursday is an off day. And Friday is a full trading day. All right, gang. So look, let's keep it a nice uh, short Wednesday update, hump day update. So, uh, you know, you guys know the plays we're in. We're still bullish on the market. I just thought I'd mention though too, because, uh, you know, I get a, I'm get i getting poked a lot about my Bitcoin. Uh, not my Bitcoin, but what I've said about Bitcoin. Look at that bad boy. Oh, man, it's going for 1400 now. You know, it's funny. When we opened the live trading room this morning, we were fighting for 1200 uh, 12,000. And guess what? Uh, we checked it at about, uh, eh, about late afternoon and it was over 1300. Now we're doing the closing show, man. It's up over 1400. Look, you Bitcoin players, you know, I'm not the definitive source for anything. Um, so it, just cause I say, I don't like Bitcoin doesn't mean you can't make a bunch of money on it. It looks like somebody is, um, I don't know anybody, but <laughs> now I want you to be careful because I'm standing by what I said. This is a bubble stock. Uh, what it does is it runs up like this and it blows, sucks the life out of everybody. It runs up and then it sucks the life out of everybody until it eventually gives a good crash. Now, it's really inflating now. Um, this is a lot based on the Facebook news, a lot of con different kind of stuff. I had an er er I saw an early uh, interesting article. Actually, it was a YouTube video. Um, I don't have the link, but a YouTube video about how uh, Bitcoin is the gold of crypto and Libra, uh, the one that Facebook, the coin that Facebook is uh, releasing, is the cat, the dollar of gold or a dollar of crypto. That's kind of an interesting uh, way to look at things, you know. Uh, but look, guys, uh, one thing we don't do is root against each other. And if you guys made some money on Bitcoin, God bless you, man. It's really running right now. I'm not even sure what to say in this thin air. Uh, it's definitely might be hitting some resistance in that collusion there technically. But, I mean, look at that MACD and look at that RSI. All you Bitcoin people, man, congratulations. But be careful. OK, uh, that's pretty much a thousand dollar bar there. <laughs> it's a wild, wild thing, this Bitcoin, man. Um, but remember, you guys, uh, those of you that learned your lesson in this big one over here, right? It comes down. It can come down as fast as it comes up, uh, goes up. So be careful. OK, if you got a profit, lock it. <laughs> or at least protect it. Um, anyways, gang, let's call it an afternoon. It was a good Wednesday. It was an interesting Wednesday today, kind of boring, right? Uh, we had that exciting start, and then it looked like some buying was stepping in the market, and then it kind of slowed down a little bit. So, you know, let's um, let's uh, enjoy our afternoon. Let's get back at it tomorrow. We'll be back after the market with another update. We're rolling into G20, um, and this should be interesting how the news cycle goes there. Uh, for you politics buffs out there, the Democratic, uh, uh, what do you call it, debates are tonight. So uh, all you guys looking at who you're going to vote for uh, come 2020, uh, you get your first preview tonight of the Democrats. Uh, we'll see how that shakes out, too. Should be some interesting rhetoric coming from that. Um, other than that, gang, you have a great Wednesday night. We'll see you tomorrow after the market. Thank you.